Right then. It's been a while since I last played. Things to get on with. Jahira is still technically cursed, but she's fine now. She'll recover. Now, I imagine Corgan is getting a bit antsy about not going to the graveyard district at this point. And so we're going to do that now. Mage Balladier saying, okay, fine. Well, actually, he won't be saying that. He'll be saying, well, we have to see that uh, woman anyway. When really he's thinking, the dwarf's going to kill me. Let's do it now. Of course. So we will do it now. As it makes sense. You must gather. Jihiro should sleep that off eventually, but we have no time to tarry. Both in terms of the reason. short and long term. Ah, Viconia slowed for some reason. Okay. Ah, she lost her... Oh yeah, because we didn't properly equip her. Let's put that over there. And these are boots of stealth, which... Uh, <laughs> let's just give them to Minsk for a laugh. He can use his stealth ability if we put him in leather armour. Uh, which is something we might do at some point. Uh, probably not, but... You know, keep our, our options, options open. Are good, and we'll serve the greater balance. Okay. To the graveyard. We haven't been there yet. Oh, yes. Right. You live so long as I tolerate it. You have arrived. I had worried I might have to discipline Valen for failing to deliver her message. I am Bodhi. And I greet you warmly. Hello, Bodhi. Uh, right. Should we say... Uh, yeah, that's perfect nervousness. Uh, yes, uh, I accept your welcome. You may be concerned about why we must meet here. There are a number of reasons, only a few of which you need to worry about. First, I shall introduce myself. I am Bodhi. You already said this, but we're too polite to correct you. I have asked you here because we are unlikely to be overheard, and so you can see the benefits of working with me. Follow, please, and stay exactly in my step. You would regret doing other. Okay. This is the entrance to the hold that I offer you access to. Oh, I am sorry, I've moved ahead of myself. I should outline what I intend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You are employed, of course, and do errands occasionally. No doubt you have questioned the intent of your employer on occasion. If you haven't, then you should. You work for these shadow thieves. On the pretense they will help locate your missing companion, Imowin. Yes, they are shadow thieves. And yes, they are as nefarious as you've probably heard. Now, this is an interesting uh, thing to bring up, because we haven't really got an opportunity to agree or disagree with that, because... We are doing the quest to eliminate Maevar, and he's a treacherous shadow thief. We don't know if Renal will hold good on his end of the bargain, and we haven't given anything to Gylan Bale, so we don't know how good his terms are. Um, so we can't, but we haven't been betrayed by them either, so. Okay. 15,000 gold. This is. No, it's the same actually now. And they found out you were offering that. Um, Interesting. Yes, well, the Shadow Thieves also know things about her, apparently. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, Corgan, we're actually not saving anything by doing this, but... Um, enemies of the Shadow Thieves. Probably don't want to make enemies of the Shadow Thieves. Okay. Probably want to ask some questions. How do you know of my involvement with the Shadow Thieves? Or even that they are Shadow Thieves? Gestures to prove our your loyalty. Hmm. Kill and terrorize. Uh, <laughs> well, um, I put it that way. That 
that's not really our style. Maybe if we can kind of pretend we're killing and terrorizing. Magical trinkets, wow. Oh, an interest in here herself. And will you will help me find Imoin for 15,000 gold pieces? I still wonder why you would do this. Hmm. Okay, so she's forcing us to choose. Right, this is a big moment. So, let's go over the peer pressure of this, first of all. Corgan seems to be mostly about the gold, uh, so we can kind of disregard his advice, because that's what he's basing it on, and um, it's redundant now, because the Shadow Thieves have met that offer. Minsk is suspicious, and things that make Minsk suspicious, uh, well, we're r really not sure about his intuition at this point, but uh, we don't ignore him completely. Jahira is suspicious, and we listen to Jahira, most of all, probably. Yoshimo uh, thinks it's a good offer, but he's worried about the Shadow Thieves turning on us, so, as are we. Viconia, I imagine, would support her, um, because, yeah, Viconia, duh. Um, right, so, seeing as how the party is lukewarm on this matter, I guess it falls to the Beige Balladeer to make a decision. <laughs> Oh god, we have to make an executive decision. That's an unusual occurrence. Let's look at this, uh, kind of, in terms of, well, fear. We're alone in the graveyard with this woman. Could we escape? Probably. Okay, we can, we can run out of this deal if it goes south, so... I don't think fear's gonna motivate us too much. Now, fear of the Shadow Thieves, on the other hand, they're a known quantity. We know they're, they can reach us. They can, we know they can be powerful and help us, too. But then this woman might be able to do the same. Mm. Then again, we are already making inroads into the Shadow Thieves organization, and we are uh, building up a reputation and network, and to throw it all away for an unknown? Hmm. Then again, this is a new thing that's starting up uh, on the outside, which might give us more opportunities. But, on the other hand, she did say we'd have to kill and terrorize. Now, we don't have much of an ethical code, but we do tend to stick away from the cold-blooded side of things. And we like to avoid violence whenever possible, so... Then again, are the Shadow Thieves going to let us get away with doing that? Uh, two quite ugly options when you consider them. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to think about this. Didn't think I would have to. What would the beige balladeer do? I think, in the end, it makes sense to stick with what we've already been doing, even if it's only slight. And as tempting as it is to side with, uh, well, the newcomers, as it were, uh, I think we are too wary. And since the party is lukewarm, we um, are unafraid of pissing them off. So we're going to, I think, well, let's see what we can say. Too good to decline. No. I do not trust you or the others, but they are the devil I know. I must decline. Okay, so she's not going to attack us, at least, right now. <laughs> Hopefully so, Corgan. Hopefully so. Now, something you need. can we talk to him about his quest? Just as I thought! No. Right, let's check our journal, then. Hunt for Valigar. Five flagons, five flagons. Post for Jadareth. Windspear Hill. Deaths. Caught the Eyeless. 
Help Corgan recover the Book of Kaza. One of the crypts apparently leads to a lower, older section, room to contain undead, but also the tome. Right. Ready and able. Yes. I don't think we can cast magic even in the graveyard, even if it's outside. I am ready. All the I can dance on the head so, of a pin as well. All the send. world is blind. Oops. All the world is blind okay. to my past. Now we can send Yoshimo in. Get a quick peek. Crypt King. Cast off your old beliefs and be saved. You will die for disturbing my rest. Well, we'll run away. Yoshimo is willing. Okay. Let's do we should probably detect traps on these. We're gonna go in there and sort him out. Probably not. We're, we're wary of anything that's called a crypt king. Ah, barred from the other side. Mm -hmm. Onward, then. Aha! There's something to manipulate here. Nearby, you see an open grave. A chill runs up your spine as you hear a sound emit from it. You shake your head and continue walking. The sound is clearer now. You are not imagining it. Muffled cries for help are coming from the grave. Okay, let's um. Minsk, dig him out. 